Hey guys, so I'm changing the name of the channel to Cooking with Ty, rebranding, and uh, on today's episode I'm doing a couple things. So I'm going to be making some baked macaroni, I'm going to make a slab of ribs, I'm going to be making also my mixture of a cornbread and sweet potato mix, so a sweet potato cornbread, and I got me some cabbage already going, but I got to get my hot sausage cut up in a second. So right now this so far is two layers, but I'm going for a third layer on here. I'm going to be wrapping it with foil anyhow. Get my last layer into here. Got my butter on the side, but I'm gonna be slicing up more to add into it. So, so far this is the third and final layer of what I'll be doing with this macaroni here. Let me get everything spread it out. Spread it. So so far, I just have my cheese, my two different cheeses, and my butter added. I'll be adding my milk in a moment. But now, I get some more of this cheese on here. Slicing up my butter. Mm -hmm. Nice amount of butter getting it around the pan. I'm using 2% milk in mine. What type of milk do you guys use in your baked macaroni? Add a little bit of more butter. I woke up today and told myself I really wanted to do a really fun video. And also, you know, if you got a TikTok or a Facebook, add me. I'm Tyrone Farmer. On TikTok, I'm Tyrone Farmer 506 on YouTube, I'm just Tyrone Farmer, but soon I'm going to change the name as I said to Cooking with Ty. And I would love to see you guys' comments. Ask, subscribe, like, add my cheese. Keep on. I love when I make back make macaroni. What I like about it the most, which is crazy, is the corners. Like it's where the best crust I feel like be at. So I'm getting this all spread it around. I'm using sharp cheddar. I'm gonna add some more cheese to it. I'm gonna keep on adding my cheese. I want to get the cheese all around. I'm get it in the corners. Paint those corners, folks. shake slowly pour Wow. 
Add a little bit more foil on the other side. I got my stove going at 375 right now. It has been for a, for a little while because I have multiple things going on in the background that I'll show you folks in a moment. I'm gonna cut this foil proper. I don't wanna get it all messed up. Now I'm about to start on the real process that I've been hoping for. So, just showing you my cabbages, but I'm getting ready to cut up some sausage meat. I'm gonna smoke the meat. And after I smoke it, I'm gonna get it right on into the pan. But I'm getting ready to get me a mixture started in a second. Bear with me, folks. I wanna do something great here. So I got some Cajun seasoning, got me a little bit of paprika. You know, I had to use me a taste of bacon fat. Just in, you know, the bacon grease really adds some flavor into it. Light salt, and while I'm talking about it, I'm about to get me a good old teaspoon. I'm gonna open it up for you folks to see. Rinse my fork off, I'm spoon off too fast. Open this pot up. I'm gonna turn my heat up a little bit more on here. I'm about to get these a good turn in a second. And add me a pinch, or two pinches of garlic. I'm gonna recap this. While this is going on, I'm getting my food in order. Get these mixed in. Oh, nice. They're starting to reduce. That's what I was hoping for. It wouldn't need to take too long. I'm going to recap this while that's capped over here. Getting ready to show you guys in a moment. Let's get my mixtures put together for you folks because, like I said, I want to do something different, something I've never done. And those caps are going to take a while because I want them to fully reduce. So I'm getting ready to do my cornbread, folks. And with the cornbread, so I got me some cornmeal and flour mixed thus far. But I'm going to take it a step further. I'm going to bring my milk over here. Bring my yams. Get my eggs. Grab me some bacon powder. And I need my masher. So you look. Wash my brand new masher. I've just got this one. I had another masher. I broke it on another when I was trying to get ready to do a video. So hopefully that'll be the case with this one this time. So for this. I'm gonna add me two eggs. Got two eggs. Refrigerate. I will be adding me some round nutmeg. I can open the cap. Slow pour is not gonna get it, right? I'm add a little bit more to my mixture right here. We got a good old teaspoon. Grab 
grab my cinnamon. Cinnamon is very powerful, so I'm gonna need as much as you think. About a full teaspoon, a little bit more. Add my wet mixtures. So right here we have the yams. Well, actually, I have the canned yams. It's quicker to do this. Next time I take the time and just do the regular yams. Grab my yams. I'm going to mix them into the mixture here. Add some of the juice from the yams. A little bit of milk. Teaspoon of baking powder. And I'm gonna, I'll be adding my butter in a second, but right now I'm gonna get my mixtures labored together. Turn, get everything churning. If I have to, I add more sweet potato to it. I wanna get my mixtures all put together here laboring it together and when I use the word laboring I'm basically saying putting that work into it you know twisting and turning whatever you gotta do to bring that mixture to together you know so if y'all don't know I'm actually originally from Chicago I got a lot of my background for cooking from, from my grandmother and uh, really I, I watched so many videos growing up on how people could cook and I said to myself man I know I could do that and I took the time to gather at doing it and I'm turns out I'm not as bad at it so I'm really uh, I like that people are viewing me I appreciate that keep supporting the channel like share subscribe all that beautiful good stuff I'm gonna keep on mixing this in I'm gonna turn my microwave on only because I really know and I realize it now and this is a major part for me and I like this part I had to grab it me this about two tablespoons Grab some tablespoons, one of my white bowls, and a quarter of a tablespoon, my other stick, open my microwave up, one minute, get that butter melted, but I'm going to keep on churning this into it, keep on mixing folks, I feel like that color is not breathing what I want yet, so I'm going to give me some more sweet potato into the mix. that nice and mashed up for you. You don't stop until everything is really perfectly broken down. You twist and you turn until you get it right, folks. Add a little bit more of this all-purpose flour into the mix. Grab my butter. While my butter is nice and warm, I'm going to add it. Be careful not to burn yourself, folks. and churn it all together folks I was taking the color I was hoping to get out of it all right now I'm gonna get my pan right here and grab me I always have my hands clean so in this pan right here I'm adding some bacon fat Add some bacon fat by hand. Then I'm add a little bit of oil, just a little oil to it. Now everybody cooks a little different. I cook my way. You cook yours. But I promise you these results are beautiful and spectacular. I get my oil coated all over my pan. 
Now the next step to that, I'm gonna add me some flour to my pan. A little bit more flour. Get that coated all around. Coat it all around, folks. Uh, you was gifted with two hands or a hand or otherwise. You use those to labor this food together. Now I promise you, people will love what you do. So I'm getting ready to mix this in. I'm actually gonna add a little more flour for safety. You know, get all around the sides and such. Now we're about to labor this in. One last good old turn. All right, now we're getting it mixed in together. So everything's labored in together perfectly and well. One last thing before we get it all done. Everything's set and situated. So now, cut. I'm gonna recap everything. I'm gonna add a light sprinkle across it of nutmeg. Light cinnamon. Get it nice where I move my pan over. Kevin, I'm gonna burn myself. That'll suck. And I'm gonna get that cornbread right on up in this. Actually, I'm gonna give it a tap. I'm sorry, folks, moving that fast. I'm gonna flatten it down. One more tap. Let's get it in there. Alright, so so far we got our cabbages going right. I made this mention before. Frank. So, here folks, I'm about to get ready to do you another video, because uh, I want to get this right for you folks, and I want to make sure this is greatly done. So, I'll be fair, I got to pull my cornbread back out. One thing I want to do, like I said, I got to do one thing that I should have done, and I messed up on this, and I feel horrible, but I'd rather be always transparent with you folks. Transparency is a great way to know you can trust what I'm doing here. Like, what is that? That is most definitely sugar, folks. Right over with a little bit of this juice right here. You're gonna see what I'm doing right now. You're like, what is he doing? Is he here too? Yes, he is. You wanna get this right? Believe me. A little bit more. I'm gonna do it when do it right, right? Get that layer. It's all there. Sorry, folks, I messed up. I want to make sure I do this right for you guys. Transparency is everything. Now we can properly get this in the stove. All right, so I'm gonna. Clean my hands off a little bit. Turn the other side of my stove on. Make sure everything's plugged right. Situated. So, I'm going to turn my left front on. Make sure the heat's getting there. I already can feel it, that's good. Now, get the cameraman. Get my handy dandy solid
try to get my sausage open. So I'm gonna smoke my meat a little bit. I'm gonna smoke it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cook it on the stove and get some browning on it. Take one at a time. sausage cut up. I'm going to add this sausage and two of my cabbages in a moment. Also, I got my bell pepper, but I got me a red bell pepper. A total of four sausage I'll be cutting up. 